Okay, so hello and welcome and thank you for joining me for the Raising Your Money Vibration intro call. And this call is designed as an introduction to the 10-part uh, program that is going to be coming up after this. Uh, to give you an overview of what the program entails, give you a sense of some of the background and rationale and reason for putting it together. Also going to give you a little taster of some of the exercises also for those of you who would who have signed up and who would like um, to have a quick sort of money oracle card reading. We'll do that at the end as well. So let us begin and get started. So first of all, actually, for those of you I haven't met before, in case you've not figured it out, I'm Marilyn Devonish from TransformationsTM.com. And I'll give you a little bit of an intro later on because I know there'll be people watching this who have never met me before. So in terms of an overview, in terms of the webinar, we're going to look at the Raising Your Money Vibration program. We're going to look at, you know, overall outcomes in terms of my initial creation. And of course, that's going to be changing and adjusting as we get started because your outcomes will get fed into that as well. I'm also going to explain what I think is kind of the unusual program rationale. And you'll see what I mean when we get to that. A um, little bit about me for those who haven't met me before. Also going to share with you some client success stories so you just get a sense of potentially what you can expect. And of course, everybody's going to get different results. Um, <clears throat> towards the end of this, if you would like to, we'll do some money oracle card readings with my new money oracle deck. And also just kind of I've, I've got a few starter processes lined up. So based on the feedback I get and the things, the questions that you're asking and the things that you're saying, for those of you who are here live, we'll choose um, a starter process in terms of getting you moving with this and also using it as a warm up for the 10 part program that will be coming. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you have any questions or queries, you can put those into the um, chat. So the chat is you can you guys can, can read the chat. The Q&A comes directly to me, so nobody else can see the Q&A. So you have the option of, of that's how you will interact during this particular webinar. And at various points, I'll cycle back around and just check both the chat and the Q&A. <clears throat> so that's cool. So everybody's saying the chat is working. Yes, cool, fabulous. So in terms of the money oracle card reading, if you would like a money oracle card reading, uh, then uh, put a note in as well because it'll just save time because if at the end I go who would like reading and you know if you've if you've booked on a money um, program already raise your vibration program and you'd like a reading put a note in and then if I've got a bit of time as well I'll do a couple of extras um, so guest 130 says yes please and three exclamation marks okay actually let me do that. It's going to be cool because I don't know who, who people are either. When I do like, because we have something called Tarot Tuesday, my membership group, where I do tarot readings for anyone who would like them via Facebook Live. I know who I'm reading for. So it's going to be really interesting. Um, to, so we've got guest 130 and 709 and Winnie. Alrighty, so I will cycle back and check that out as well. So as we go through, cool. Right. So stay tuned because we'll, we'll do that towards the end. If you'd like a reading, that'd be fabulous. First of all, the way I always start my workshops, my webinars, teleseminars, all of that sort of stuff, my photo reading workshops, you name it. We start with intention. Of course, if you're a photo reader, the word will be purpose. But for me, you know, depends what I'm talking about. So I would say, why did you sign up for this webinar? And what would you most like to know? What would you like to learn? Or what would you like to take away from this session? So you can, if you're feeling chatty, you can put that into the chat. You can put that into the Q&A. Be interesting for me to know that as well. So why did you sign up? And what would you most like to know? What would you most like to learn? Or what would you most like to take away? So what is your intention? Because for those of you who have worked with me before, you will know that when you've set a clear intention or purpose, it wakes up a part of your brain called the reticular activating system. Them, and that part will then wake up when we get to a point where I am talking about or sharing uh, something that you would you are interested in. So uh, intention, start thinking about that. If you want to, you can type it into the chat. You can type it into the Q&A as well. Uh, my intention, just thinking about it, what is my intention? My intention is to share with you what this program is about, give you some background information to it, and also use this as a springboard and a starting point 
for the 10 part series that comes thereafter. And, you know, over and above doing the basics of that, my intention is that all of you who are either here live or those of you watching the recording will take something useful away that you can put into practice straight away to start to raise your vibration. So that'll be the intention for me. Uh, somebody says, um, I'd like to release all and any blocks around money and I'd like to create a positive regular income. Um, some of us signed up because uh, you're doing something new also new vibe here so wondering about the money vibe now cool that is fantastic excellente okay fab and i'll cycle and, and as i'm asking the questions just for you know process of time i will just cycle back every once in a while and check on the chat and check on the q a just so we can kind of keep this moving <clears throat> and of course if you're watching this as a replay you'll have a pause button if at any point you wanted to pause and ponder the question and kind of go into it in in more detail so in terms of the main program, the outcome of the program is to it's things that we're going to be looking at doing is exploring your relationship with money. Um, and there's a, one of my favorite exercises. It comes from the 28 day e-coaching program that I created three, four years ago, the money breakthrough program. But the money relationship one, number one, it freaks people out. But number two, it is so insightful. So that's definitely going to be in this program as well. So we're going to explore your relationship with money starting to because my my starting point I don't often go around in life making loads of assumptions however my assumption for this program is there are things that you feel about money that are less let's put it this way they're less than positive so we're going to start looking at how you change how you feel about money we're going to have some processes to cut old money you know genealogical ties ancestral ties karmic ties if you believe in past life then looking at past life ties so we're going to have some processes to do that because i know that a lot of the times the, the beliefs people hold about money and and the way they represent money the way they talk about money the way they think about money the way they feel about it the way they interact with it doesn't even belong to them they've picked it up in terms of their genealogy in terms of their ancestry even in terms of society and what society dictates and tells them so it's always an interesting one so we'll do some work around that we're also going to change what I call the kind of dichotomies and paradigms around money because it's often you know almost like a, a bit adversarial a bit like them and us um, and so looking at those paradigms and what you can do to change them it's also going to be we're going to focus on resolving and releasing old negative emotions limiting beliefs around money and the way that the judgments you potentially have about it may limit you as well and it's going to be a mix of experiential exercises we're going to do energy clearings there's going to be guided meditations and one of the questions I had and I've got a list of the questions thank you for sending them in I'll run through them if I haven't already answered them as a result of doing this webinar today but one of the questions somebody had is how is this different to the 28 day e-coaching program and I was like, good question. I think for me, the way I would say it, the 28 day e-coaching program was much more um, analytical process and pragmatic, very, you know, it's coaching. So every day for 28 days, you get a two page PDF document uh, with a bit of a background. There's a quote that is related to whatever the subject matter is. And then there's anything from, you know, six to 10 steps in terms of a, a, a coaching exercise to do. Um, so that's a 28 day e-coaching program. Um, the, this program is almost like the other facet and the other side of that and is much more, uh, um, I, I guess the way I'd say it is much more spiritual, much more esoteric and much more energetic that's that's the kind of the way i would put it actually let me i think i set up a poll for this oh yeah right so i'm going to put a poll into there's a poll now that should be in i think it's in the chat and just so i have a sense so when i say 28 day program um how many of you have done the 28 day program and have you done it yes or no so there's a poll in there now and that'll give me a, a sense of a steer because i don't want to talk about things if everybody's done it um that you have that you already know about fab 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 <clears throat> it's quite fun i do like this i like this platform so so either the, the nose have it at the moment so I'll, I'll check back on that as well um as we go so that's basically kind of what we're looking at in terms of the program in terms of how we're going to be doing that 
clearing the old money beliefs, cutting ancestral ties, those are processes in and of their own right. We're gonna do some past life readings and clearings. And I've put a little star there because it's gonna be dependent on the group who are there. Um, and you're almost act, acting as a proxy for people who will come thereafter and pick this up as a recording. Uh, there's a process that I did, uh, created a, a year or so ago, The Soul of Money. Really, I love that one. So we're going to do that as a guided meditation. That's an MP3 that you can kind of download and listen to. With the clearing of the negative emotions, looking at the judgments, looking at the limitations, there's going to be stuff like access consciousness that we're doing because that's a favorite modality of many of my clients. And it is just so quick at just whizzing through and clearing stuff. And those of you who have experienced Huna and access, you'll kind of you'll know that there's also going to be a process that will come, you know, middle end is meeting the ultimate future you. So that's going to be a mix of um, kind of going out into your future timeline and also some future life progression. Um, and meeting the ultimate best version of you who has achieved the things you, you want to achieve and done the things you want to do. So there'll be that. We're also going to kind of do some Ho'oponopono and some Huna chakra clearing, chakra alignment work, and also some stuff with the blue uh, soul blueprint and realigning the DNA, etc. Oh, it's even Stevens. It's 50-50 in terms of have done the 28 day and not. So that's cool. Thank you for filling that in. So those are that's in terms of some of the modalities that we are going to be using and I'll talk a bit more about those as we go through as well and for those of you particularly if you're watching this as a recording you want to press the pause if you want information about the new program I'm talking about you can go to www.bitly bit.ly forward slash money vibration and you'll see that there are four different packages and I'll talk about those packages a bit later on as well but that's the link um, if you wanted to go and have actually hmm what I could probably do as well, mm. <sighs> I'll drop it into the chat as well, make it easier than, let me do that, control V. All right, so that's in the chat as well, if you wanted to go and have a look in terms of just an overview of what we're going to be doing, that is that. So, program rationale because I started creating this a, a kind of a, a few weeks ago, probably four or five weeks ago, when I started designing the uh, the money oracle cards, I thought actually, because the cards are going to be a bit more spiritual based, they're going to, I guess, follow kind of like tarot style. I then thought it'd be really nice to put this program together. So I thought that was the rationale. And then I really sat down yesterday as I was preparing for this webinar and thought, why am I actually doing this? What is this about? And a few words came to mind and the words that came to mind are here on the screen. So celebrity suicide and having it all. What I mean by that is money, the word money. <laughs> um, people with money often say money doesn't matter. It's no big deal. It's not that important. Trust me when I tell you, if you haven't got enough money, it kind of feels like everything. And it kind of feels like if you just had enough money, you'd be able to do this and you'd be able to do that and money would make everything OK. But as I sat back and I just observed the last, even if I just look at this week, if I observed the last three or four weeks, this in the past seven days, I know of four celebrities. And that's just in passing. I haven't been reading OK and hello and all that. It's just come across my radar. I know of four celebrities who have committed suicide in the past week. So these are people who had money, what we would call wealth. They had fame, celebrity, and basically were living the life which in our Western material world, we would consider having it all in terms of the red carpet is rolled out wherever you go. You have adoring fans. You've got X million people following you on Instagram. And they were wealthy, had a lot of money, had all the trimmings and trappings that, you know, wealth and money and that sort of lifestyle can bring you. So the question then becomes, well, hold on a minute. If they've got the thing that many are aspiring to and it is kind of the be all and end all, why is it then that they would take their own lives? There's got to be more to it than that. Um, and I know that Jim Carrey famously says, you know, he wishes everyone could be wealthy so that they could realize um, that it's not the be all and end all. But we intellectually know that we intellectually know that if money and wealth was it, then all of the celebrities and all of the people who were millionaires and billionaires would be happy, happy, happy. And they're not. 
and they're 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 not to the extent that many of them are you know taking their own lives and and so that for me when i sat down and thought about it yesterday i thought that for me is the rationale of this program and we're going to talk about some of the disclaimers of this program as well what i mean by that um it is to help you to feel good because when you don't have money when you are under pressure you can't think straight you it's almost like you're stuck you, you you can some people can barely get out of bed the thought of waking up every single day is is just like devastating it's like kind of dragging yourself through treacle and so the whole thing about raising your money vibration when you feel good you can think straight when you feel good you can access that left and right brain creativity when you feel good you have energy you no longer have that lethargy you no longer have that sense where you're being dragged down and dragging yourself through the day and a sense of dread when you feel good your net worth doesn't automatically define your sense of value and it doesn't automatically define your self-worth because oftentimes people will look at what's in their bank account and when you already have a load of other things going on, then they start to diminish and devalue themselves as human beings. Um, and also when you feel good, you can, you can number one, you can see opportunities because your mind is clear. You're like a clear vessel and a clear channel. And not only will you see and notice opportunities, you can act on those opportunities. And also when you feel good, you are in that place in that space where, um, it's, um, and for the person who says no visuals and no sound, what you might want to do, if you might want to refresh your screen, hopefully it's just the one person that's here, but if you do a refresh, hopefully that will that will bring it back for you. Um, and you're more in that place and that space of, of divine flow. And if we're talking about it in those terms, that's the place and space where the law of attraction kicks in. Um, and <laughs> with me in the law of attraction I don't talk about it that much because I know that for many people it's kind of um, been misconstrued and you know taken out of proportion and it, it's something that often for people acts as a hindrance rather than a help um, and we'll talk about some of that during the program as well but what I would say with regards to that you are more likely to be in the place and the space where you can manifest where you can create and where you can generate when you feel good so the whole thing um about um kind of creating the kind of the, the vibration around it is the whole piece then that when you feel good those things will start to happen and those things will start to um will start to fall into place so that's that for me was the kind of the big rationale sort of around this there's also going to be an element of something that I do with my membership group. We have a thing called Wisdom Wednesday where we're going back through the ages, you know, right back to some of the old ancient teachings, Aristotle. We've also had stuff like Oprah and Jennifer Lopez and Catherine Ponder and you name it in between. But one of the things I want this program to do also is to help you tap into your own inner wisdom um, such that you are not necessarily always then looking outside of yourself but when you are in that place in that space of, of kind of I think I'll just call it divine flow for now and um, when you're in that place in that space it is much easier for you um, to tap into your own wisdom to start looking at um, what's right for you uh, being led in kind of in in the kind of the, the right direction for you and and that's really kind of what we want to go for with regards to this so that for me is kind of part of the rationale in terms of the approach uh, it's, it's going to be a real mixture. There's going to be some practical stuff. There's going to be some experiential stuff. We're doing it live webinars. Um, there's going to be some journaling exercises. There'll be the transformation work. There's also going to be what I call the think tank exercises to activate this thing that we call the vortex. Um, there's going to be some belief change work and energy clearing sessions and also some MP3 downloads. So it's going to be a real mixture in terms of the way that the program is structured. What I want to say with regards to this one first as a program dis disclaimer, even though, uh, you know, I've had previous clients who, you know, one that sticks in my mind, he was making about 10K a month, which actually does sound like a lot of money. Um, however, when your outgoings are 12 to 14,000 a month, it's not really that much money. 
Um, and within four weeks of doing a breakthrough session, he had his first hundred thousand pound month ever and has gone upwards from there. And I've had clients doing, you know, with the checks in the mail thing. I've had clients who have been out of work and out of contract for nine months. We do a Huna session and suddenly uh, they've got not one but two jobs to choose from. Some of you know those people who are here because you're at the, you're in the membership group and you've heard them talk about it in the free workshop that I run, uh, the annual workshop that I run for the membership group. So you know who those people are. Some of them are. Um, so even though I've had that for my clients, this is not um, a get rich quick do this and it will make you money it's not that this is about changing your the energy around it and then from there you will get yourself into your creative space um, so it does not it's not offering you financial advice I would say with things like the readings the saying goes this is for entertainment purposes only and all of the decisions you make as a result of this information are your own decisions so just being clear on that um, before we start because everyone will be different and I know with the client I'm talking about here who did 100k and also the client when we did the um, who, who kind of got the process from the future life progression session when she did the transformation program both of them had structures in place to cope with that kind of income and they also had products that they could sell which would generate that kind of cash so some of you may not be there yet you might not be in the position where you actually have the income flow to have that happen so everybody is going to be different um, in terms of the results another thing i want to put in and this is something that i use on all of my trainings and it is think not that all wisdom is in your school. This is one of the sayings that I learned when I went out for the first time in, God, that would have been 2005, to study Huna. And I just love this saying. And what it means is basically, in layman's terms, you might think that what you're doing is the best thing since sliced bread um, however uh, there'll be so many other ways that you could approach this thing so I might think it's the best thing since sliced bread it doesn't mean it is and if it resonates with you that's great if it doesn't resonate with you that's great too there'll be enough of variety in the program for you to choose and so it's saying be open but it's not the be all and end all. There are gonna be other ways that you can kind of do things. So kind of keeping that in mind as well um, as we go through. Right, let me just do that and do that. Cool, fab. So that's, that's kind of it in terms of, you know, the little bit of background in terms of what we're looking at, the processes, the modalities, et cetera. Also, just in terms of just to give you a sense of what you can potentially expect. So this was from the very, very first time I launched the 28 day e-coaching program. So the, the thing you can I know some people be listening to this rather than looking. So this one says for the first time in four years, both my business and personal accounts have positive balances of plus above zero. I remember when I first, because that was the first line of the email, and I thought, well, that doesn't sound very good. And then I realized, I was like, okay, let me get this into context. The, the What that meant is previous to doing the Money Breakthrough program, to make ends meet at the end of it, she was either borrowing money from her parents or borrowing money from her boyfriend to pay the rent. So now when you look at it in that context, to get be above zero and have positive balances now that's a big deal and um, particularly if it's been four years of, of borrowing and trying to shove money around she also says i'm really happy to have reached this first milestone i'm sure it wouldn't have happened without your great support marilyn that's fabulous uh, another of my clients you know we did a breakthrough session their revenue is up by 300 percent, which is really nice and he really tracks his revenue so that's a true number um and you know i've had really wonderful things happening for people in terms of ideas and opportunities that they've been in a position to see and act upon with regards to doing some of the coaching around it, looking at some of these issues and, and that sort of thing. So that's a, a, a little bit in terms of, you know, that. Also in terms of one of the questions I also got is because this is remote in terms of webinars and MP3s, teleseminars, etc. Uh, my answer to that is it really doesn't matter. And I and I'll show you an example of somebody who listened to an MP3 after the fact. They weren't even with us live, but just to give you a sense of how the energy travels with it. This is one of my um, clients and a, a friend of mine, Lack Loy. Some of you might know Lack. 
um, and he kind of got one of his friends had done a breakthrough session with me and he was saying oh you know nothing's working contracts aren't coming and I've been out of work for nine months now you know getting down to the wire I really need to sort something out and they said I'll speak to Marilyn and ask her to do some Huna and, and stuff with you so we did we just did it over the phone and that week suddenly out of the blue a contract which has just disappeared and gone into nothing came back to life and they actually said can you start tomorrow and he was like oh my god uh, no and he had to negotiate so he could start on the Monday because it was such a shock if you've been at home for nine months to suddenly start tomorrow that's a lot and he's been in contract ever since and we probably did this I don't know three four years ago now there was also somebody from my membership group who was exactly the same and weirdly she had been out of contract for nine months as well we did a Huna and Access Consciousness session. I have a telephone or Skype, and she was offered not one job, but two. And for those of you who are in the membership group, you know who this is, because she talked about it at the workshop. Um, and I had somebody else that I did, um, you know, soul plan reading for and some tarot readings. And I apparently had said to them, you're going to be in a position where two people are going to be offering you work, and you are going to have to choose. And... Um, Lo and behold, she went to an interview, got offered a job. She was on her way home and was met somebody else that she used to work with. And said, oh, what are you doing here? And she said, oh, I've just been for an interview. I didn't know you out of work. He offered her a job as well. And then as well, and then there was a bidding war. So, um, you know, that that sort of thing is is really cool. It does happen. And Lack has said, uh, a lot of my clients will, will ring up or send messages going, you're not going to believe this. And he said, you're not going to be- believe this. I knew there was a block. Now it's gone. You have an amazing ability and it is having miraculous effects. And so, you know, that's just to give you a little bit of a flavor. Some of you would have heard me uh, talk about Keith, for example, who is very specific, wanted and needed 10,000 pounds. <laughs> And uh, I, I will talk about it more on the program, but that's him with the £10,000 check uh, that he won. And so in terms of the manifesting and the creating, when you get rid of some of these blocks and barriers, incredible, amazing things can happen. So, you know, that's that's really kind of kind of what we're going for with regards to this program. And just to give you a sense of the energy traveling, this was from one of my lovely clients who lives out in Australia, um, who is actually on this uh, webinar. Thank you for joining us. And she couldn't make it live, but listen to the MP3 recording. And this is basically her, her explanation of what happened and what she felt and what she experienced just from listening to the MP3. So even if you can't make things live, rest assured, and my intention is such also, um, that the energy will travel and that the you will get what you need with regards to the recording. So chill, relax, it's all good. And I'll leave that on for a sec if you want to have a read. And I'll start off with the people who are listening. So it says, initially, my third eye, throat and heart center and solar plexus all felt compressed. It was uncomfortable, to say the least. After the first round of Huna, I sent you the image of a triangle of fire, which is really weird because what they don't know, because when I'm doing Huna, <laughs> you have no idea what I'm doing. And that is one of the symbols that I use. It, it's, oh, I haven't got it in the slide deck, but I'll show it to you uh, when we do the program. So when I read that line, I had goosebumps. I'm like, oh my God, that's what I did to, to start things off. Um, she said, during the second round, I felt a pain being drawn out of my body via my heart center. I slowly began to feel lighter. My heart center opened more than previously. And I felt like I was glowing from the inside out. As I'm typing the phrase, um, as if the light of my soul is now able to shine through my heart center comes to mind, which is just lovely. She said the third round gave me a sense of the heart center expanding into the universe. And I now have a sense of feeling more open. And I believe I've totally cleared the blocks, feel confident, happy and positive, And I'm glowing from the joy of it all. And that was from someone listening to a recording. So even if you can't make stuff live, the energy and that's the intention of it will travel into the recordings. So that is brilliant. Cool. I'm just, sorry, I'm saying that is brilliant looking at the, uh, the messages in the Q&A. Uh, but this is brilliant, too. Um, so just to give you a sense for people who are wondering if it's going to translate, if you can't be on everything live, it's fine. The energy really does travel. So first exercise I would like you to do 
um, is a quick money review. So first, the question is, how do you feel about money? And I'd say rate your feelings on a scale of one to 10, where one equals terrible and 10 equals great, amazing, fantastic. And just, you know, jot that down, write it down, put it in the tablet, whatever. You don't have to share. If you want to put it into the Q&A or the chat, feel free, but there's no need to. Um, but if you want to as a benchmark, that's cool. Then once you've rated it and really go with what comes to mind, don't overanalyze the thing. Just go, how do I feel about money on a scale of one to 10 where one equals terrible, 10 equals great. What is the number that comes to mind? And go with that number. And then what I want you to do is choose three words that describe your current feelings about money. And then and they're, they're going to, I guess, be determined by the, the where you are on the scale. If it's a one or a two or a three or something like that, it might be, I don't know, you could be feeling stressed, worried, anxious, let down, disappointed, distraught, fearful, whatever it might be. And if you're more in the seven, eight, nine, ten category, you might be feeling wonderful, abundant, joyful, uh, plentiful, whatever it might be. But just choose three words that describe your current feelings about money. And my suggestion would be, and when we do this as an exercise on the main program, I'm definitely going to be. And what you might want to do also, for those of you who have already signed up, get yourself. This is this is kind of my money journal where I put um, thoughts, affirmations, uh, clearing statements and exercises um, in this. And the reason I've chosen this one, I, you, if, I can, if I move it in the light, you can see it's kind of embossed with gold and it's got the gemstone um, as the clasp, which I really, really like. The only thing it's missing is having the gold edging around the paper, but I'll let them off. But this is the one that I do my money affirmations and stuff in. So get yourself a nice journal and you might want to write these down just to benchmark your starting point so that as things change and progress, progress you have a sense where you can look back and go oh my god because often people will find their old journals or the notes that they made on a workshop we had somebody that came to the um free one day workshop that i run for the membership group and she was had a note where she went oh my god and she said i've just come across some notes that i wrote when i was at the workshop last time she says i can't even believe that i was writing this stuff i'm so different now so you can really almost forget your starting point so definitely write it down so somebody has said oh i love it um so uh let's go back i have a pay you because i cannot handle money i would just spend it um somebody says today they're in number six somebody said they chose number five somebody else is saying money feels like it's out of reach uh, money is just like water somebody else says i need more and someone else says love luck and lack i love it and what we're also going to be doing you know when i talked about in the beginning the dichotomies around money um and the dichotomies is like the opposing forces so like the positive and negative I don't know if you can see that uh, there's like diamonds on this one and a skull on this one and this this ring often sometimes disturbs people it's a skull and the reason I wore these purposely um, is about we're going to be looking at the opposing forces the positives and the negatives because there can be times where you feel both good and bad about something all at the same time which in and of itself creates a bit of a tug of, of tug of war so I love that love love luck and lack I love it and also what comes up I've just been talking about some of the client success stories so clients going from struggling and being overdrawn every single month to making 100k and a client coming up with an idea in a future life progression session running a weekend workshop and kind of making three figures um, so how do you feel about that are you kind of going wow that's amazing good for them or be honest and you don't again you can you can share if you want or you don't have to but be or are you thinking well it's all right for them and just notice how you feel about that because all of that stuff is going to be mixed into this thing that we call abundance and this thing that we call attraction and so you want to be aware of those feelings um Somebody, somebody says, um, guest 130 says, I love hearing about other people's experiences and success. I'd love to experience it too. Fabulous. Uh, <laughs> my spelling is third. But we're not checking your spelling. Um, and uh, somebody else says they feel that a change of luck is possible. And I love that because one of the things I want is about opening up the space and the energy for possibility. Because when you are in that space and place, it then gives you a sense of joy. 
it gives you a sense of expectation it right raises your energy levels because you're almost like a kid in a candy store as the day kind of you know dawns and like okay what has today got in store what has this week got in store what has this month got in store what has this year got in store and that's a really nice energy to be in as well so i love i love that i love that and so that's just the first little starter exercise and we've got a few more of the of these that we we are going to that we're going to do just checking time so for people who haven't met me before let's just, just interject with that just so you have a sense because i guess it's polite to introduce oneself um so my name is marilyn devness particularly if you kind of skipped in at the middle bit what I do is widen and vary. I had a very traditional, you know, upbringing, did a business studies degree, postgraduate marketing diploma with the Chartered Institute of Marketing, um, was an aspiring accountant in terms I was studying to be a chartered accountant, but I was also very quiet, very shy, terrified of public speaking and lacking in confidence and self-esteem and ended up on a personal development training just to improve my communication skills or so i thought and um, went in in october 2000 thinking it was a communication skills course came out the other side a week later a practitioner of nlp and hypnosis and timeline therapy i loved it so much because i went from when I got the joining instructions, I realized what I signed up for. I actually phoned them up and I said, there's been a mistake. I didn't sign up for this. I want a refund. And they wouldn't give me a refund. They did what I know to be a classic reframe. I said, well, come to the training. If you don't get massive value, yada, 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 we'll give you a refund. So I only went for the week uh, to sit through it all and get my money back. So it's a couple of grand. And um, my financial circumstances had pretty much changed overnight. So suddenly that money was really important to me. And so I went with a view of getting a refund, um, got halfway through, really angry that they've made me waste a week of my time. Day number three, thereabouts, I decided, I look, I'm going to play full out because if I don't, they're not going to give me a refund. They'll just say you just sat at the back sulking, which is what I did for the first three days. Um, and so I decided to just do what they said and play full out. And the rest, as they say, is history. I went back the month later to become a master practitioner in NLP and hypnosis and timeline therapy. And the following year, I did my um, NLP trainers training and timeline therapy trainers training in May 2001. And also the following year did my hypnosis trainers training. And over the years, I've added a ton of different modalities to that. You know, things like EFT, DNA theta healing, emo trance, energetic NLP, past life regression, future life regression, soul plan reading, tarot, archetypal profiling. Uh, you name it, I've probably done it. I've I'm, I'm qualified in about 20 different modalities at this point. Uh, number one, I was just really excited about personal development in terms of how much it had changed my life. But number two, I realized that one size didn't fit all. So I wanted to have um, some flexibility and agility in what I could offer to my clients. Also, the photo reading you know, stuff changed my life because in my 20s, I was diagnosed with what was thought to be early onset Alzheimer's and the photo reading turned that around for me. And also in 2003, became a management consultant and Prince2 project manager. So working in central and local government, designing and delivering change management programs, leadership development programs, executive coaching, and all that sort of stuff. And went from, you know, terrified of public speaking to the picture you can see there, the little pink dot on the screen is me. And now no longer am I terrified of it. I absolutely love it. And the problem is not getting me to talk, it's getting me to shut up. Um, somebody says too funny, great story. It's totally true. You know, David will tell you I was a bloody nuisance. I just sat at the back moaning the whole time, and they, I put my I put my hand up every five minutes, and the the assistants at the back will be like, "Oh God, here she goes again." Because then, you know, a few months later, I went from being a, a pain in their side um, to working for them and and running the room and and kind of being one of their trainers. But it's a totally true story. Uh, it makes me laugh now, and I'm actually really pleased that I went into it like that because I wasn't already, you know, happy, clappy, evangelical. My eyes were really open. I was actually looking. For for flaws and and didn't find and um and didn't um as somebody says and he recommended me to you oh cool are we talking about david i think we're talking about david that is fantastic that's wonderful do thank him yes i <laughs> said yes brilliant and for me um also one of the reasons why i'm so passionate about personal development is in september 2000 I considered, I, I actually seriously sat down and considered and looked at all the ways I was going to commit suicide. Um, and so to go from that in September 2000 to October 2000, like, whoa, 
life is good. And the following year, I became a Samaritan's volunteer. So I was one of the people answering the phones and answering the door because the centre in Watford has a visitor centre so people can come in to go from contemplating suicide to being a Samaritan just a few months later. That for me is the power of personal development, which is why I'm to this day, 18 and a half years later at this point, so passionate about it. Um, one of the things I also have been doing since, gosh, 2002 now, is writing for newspapers and magazines. So anything about emotional health um, and well-being, I had a kind of a, a problem page for uh, Spirit and Destiny magazine for about seven years was also kind of a media expert for Psychologies magazine. So, you know, when the, you know, they want people to do radio interviews and all that sort of stuff, I do that. Um, and, you know, I'm passionate about finding ways to spread information about how to change your mindset and your emotional health and well-being and kind of mental health awareness. And the first book that I ever co-authored, um, it was like a gift because I didn't make up the title. It's called Stories of Transformation. For those of you who are into personal development, you might have heard of Tony Robbins. If you're into photo reading, Paul Sheely is the creator of photo reading. The late Dr. Wayne Dyer also did a story for the book. Chun Yi Lin, the creator of Spring Forest Qigong. Brian Tracy, who is someone I've admired for many years. And so we all wrote a chapter in the book about how we changed and transformed our lives. And there's also now, you know, more recently in the last five, six years have kind of blended in the neuro success piece into that as well, which is combining key principles from neuroscience and looking at how that underpins personal development and human potential and how you can then harness the power of neuroscience and personal development for even, great, even greater insight and success so that things work, they stick, they last. And what's really important for me is that you're working with the mind and the brain in the way that it works rather than working against it. Because, you know, some of the kind of techniques, they're great and they're sometimes counterintuitive to the way that the mind and brain works. And that's why people find they've got a resistance and they're not able to implement. And so looking at the kind of the, the neuroscience that underpins that has just kind of made it easier to have all of that slot into place. So that's a little bit about me and why I'm here and um, how I came to be doing what I'm doing. So next exercise, just to get the ball rolling for those of you who are joining us uh, for the 10 part series. This one is about money genealogy. And of course, after this, you know, these are the questions. If you're watching this as a replay, hit the pause button by all means. For those guys, those of you who are live, you might want to come back to this one and mull it over in a bit more detail. But first question is, where did you pick up? your thoughts, beliefs, and ideas around money. And again, you might just want to say it again, and you might, if, if it's convenient, if you're driving or something, don't do it. But if it's convenient, you might want to close your eyes, and I'm going to say the question again and notice what comes to mind. So where did you pick up your thoughts, beliefs, and ideas about money? And one I might even throw into that, are they yours or someone else's? I just noticed the answer to that as well. Also, what are your family and relatives like with money? And just notice that. And you might not know your whole family thread, but you can look at the immediate family circle and, you know, cousins, cousins once removed, aunts, great aunts, uncles, that sort of thing. And what are your family and relatives like with money? Because that can sometimes, not always, but sometimes, you know, almost imprint and inform how you are. And I've got one friend, for example, and actually I remember this one distinctly. I've got goosebumps as I think about it now. Um, we did a breakthrough session around this and she, um, she was like, oh, my God. And we, and we did a past life regression. And she said, um, in the past life regression, I saw, hang on, I think it was every three generations. So there'd be wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Somebody would ne that next generation that comes in you know, at that point lose it all, and then wealthy, 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 and then the next generation that comes in at that point loses it all. And she says, actually, as she looked back at what she knew of her family tree, and sure enough, they were she came from a very wealthy family, and then there was like a rogue, and he basically gambled the pile away. When I say the pile, I mean the 
money and the country manor lost it in a gambling in a, in a gambling game then she came along she was the the, the the third generation and she'd had a thing she had a big property portfolio owned a lot of properties in really nice areas in london um and then was with a partner in terms of business partner and basically he swindled her out of it and left her with a load of debt and so she lost it all and had nothing then to pass on to her nieces and nephews and it was really interesting she said that has been the pattern in our family and i've got a friend actually who um they um, i don't know if she's worked it out in terms of the generation but she came comes from a wealthy family but by the time her parents and grandparents came they'd lost it all so it's really quite interesting sometimes if you do know a little bit about your genealogy you can kind of see how it plays out and, and so that's the question. Do you know anything about your, your genealogical or your ancestral line? If you do, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, my client didn't, but in the past life regression piece, that's what she saw. And then when she went away and thought about it, she's like, oh, my God, that's actually true. So it can be interesting to look at it from that perspective. And I'd say you want to write these things down, write down kind of where you picked up your beliefs, write down what you know about your relatives. Um, write down what you know about your ancestry and about your genealogy and then look at what you've written and circle the kind of ideas and thoughts and beliefs that might most hold you back so for example one that I think if, if you grew up in the era that I grew up in um, that some of the sayings robbing Peter to pay Paul making ends meet bearing up making do getting by they all sound like very innocent statements, but when you hear those enough and you grow up around those statements, they kind of potentially, not always, but potentially they can get into your psyche and you don't even really know they're there. And so just be thinking about those and then you're looking at everything you've written. Is there a pattern? Do you see, oh my God, like with the clients saying, oh my God, it's every third generation somehow it gets lost they lose it or it gets taken away that was a definite pattern um you know it might be that one side of the family is very good the other side so the haves and the have nots and then if you happen to be on the have not side that in and of itself can bring its whole range of challenges and so really kind of thinking about this one again as a starting point, because that's going to inform uh, some of the work that we're doing with the limiting beliefs, the work that we're doing with the negative emotions, the work that we're doing with cutting the energetic ties. Um, and also you, you guys who have done who and access will know there's also we can do it content free as well. But it's just if you want to put anything specifically into the mix, it's useful to kind of have that that background. Um, someone says a so guest guest 130 says uh, since great grandparents lost money in the 1930s depression, it seems to have been a sense that there is not enough. And there's always worry about money. Somebody else says my brother is my uh, my my payee. Um, so yeah, very interesting. And that whole thing, that that belief, there's not enough, that feeling of worry. Oh, one of the words that are coming to my head now, you could be the one who goes, okay, it's been the pattern. It's been that way since the 1930s, maybe even before that. And that pattern stops here. So it kind of stops now. And then you put something different and something else out into your future timeline. And when we do the stuff around the future life progression, the premise and the idea can be for those who are willing and open to receiving the energy, they can now come into a timeline that is different, that doesn't carry all of the old ancestry and um, that's exactly it time to break the pattern that's the one it's like it stops here you know in business when when somebody who runs a company or who's in charge of a team they say the buck stops here it's like the pattern stops here and you clear it for yourself and we're not necessarily doing it in this program but there's one that i do with my clients is it's, it's kind of uh, genealogical constellations is what I call it. And one of the things we're often doing is we're going back and not just changing things for the, the person that I'm working with, but for those again, and we there's a process that we use to figure out who's in, who's out, but you go back and you change the back catalog as well. Um, so it's a really interesting one, but when you look at the pattern, a little bit of exploration and quite frankly, you don't even need to know that much about your genealogy. For example, I, I live in the UK 
um, I'm Caribbean. So you'd say Afro-Caribbean and, and, and somebody who's of African descent would say, wouldn't classify themselves as Caribbean. But at the end of the day, I came into the world, what, a year or two shy of me not being able to be in a particular place, drink from that fountain. And I'm sure if I really did have good ancestry, there will be, I will be a descendant of slaves. But even if I don't identify as a slave, even if I haven't, my heritage is an African, the fact that I'm black, the fact that I came into the world at a time where Martin Luther King was striving to just be able to sit at the same counter and order a cup of coffee, um, it potentially also means that I carry some of that and I identify with that. And I remember um, watching Alvin, Alvin Haley's Roots when I was at school, it was painful for me because I, in a way, I almost felt like I had lived some of that, which doesn't make sense as like a, a, a 10 or 12 year old, whatever I was, but it's not too far a stretch of the imagination that someone like me, of my generation and my background, would identify with slavery, would identify with, with poverty, would identify with not being allowed to have your own stuff, would identify with being at the beck and call of someone else. It's not beyond the realms of possibility. And I actually think a lot of stuff gets carried through society um, and it almost gets imprinted on. So it's all of that sort of stuff that we will kind of be looking at. Um, I said, I remember Roots, it was painful to watch, even though it's not my heritage. Seriously, I just, to this day, um, when some of those new movies, 12 Years a Slave and all that, I was like, I don't really think I wanna see that because I'm still reeling from Roots. You know, it was, it was painful stuff. And all of that can kind of get into this thing that I call the money genealogy, even if consciously, it's not got that much to do with you, really. <laughs> often it kind of imprints almost into the psyche and into the DNA and into the fiber of our being. Uh, so we'll be exploring that one as well. So that's, that's one to kind of look at. Um, another one that I think is really interesting, we're gonna do some dowsing. When we cut the old energetic ties, we're gonna do some dowsing. Uh, we're gonna do some past life readings. And for those of you who are not familiar with the dowsing, we use the dowsing rods. These are always really great fun. Some of you would have seen these in action. I better sit back because it will it'll probably smack the camera off. So these are the rods. I, I always calibrate my rods. So I say, okay, give me a very clear signal for yes. And it spins in a particular direction. That's my signal for yes. That's great. Thank you very much. Give me a, a clear signal for no. And it goes in the other direction. And then what I'm saying with regards to this, I might be asking questions on behalf of an individual or I might be asking questions on behalf of a group. So with your permission, um, if it's OK, I'll ask a question, let's say, on behalf of the group. So let me just kind of say, OK, with regards to the group that are here, both in person and that will be joining us energetically in the future, is there anything that needs to be done with regards to old ancestral ties and connection? OK, so that's my signal for yes. Um, so that's, you know, one of the things that we'll be doing is that because you can use it as a really great diagnostic. Let's just say, for example, uh, we were going to be doing a, an energy clearing and saying, OK, how many generations or how many um, ancestral lines do we need to go back? And then we could be saying, you know, is it kind of one? Nope. <laughs> right. Is it is it two? Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, is it 15? Nope. Have we gone too far with 15? Yes. And so, you know, we'll be kind of narrowing it down that way. So we'll be using the dowsing rods for a bit of remote group diagnostic. They're always fun. Um, so that's that's one of the things we'll be doing in terms of modalities that are included. We're going to do some guided um, processes and bespoke processes. And I say bespoke because it's partly going to be driven by the group. So in the way you guys are putting your comments in here, when we're doing the live webinars, we'll be putting those comments in and I'm going to be using those comments um, and feeding them forwards into the processes that we're doing, into the clearings that we're doing. So we're going to do the soul of money karmic release because I just love that process. Uh, we're going to do the access consciousness and belief change sessions because they're just a powerhouse in and of themselves. We're going to do the Huna and Ho'oponopono cord cutting and we're going to do the soul blueprint we're going to do the money dna realignment and i'm sure some other stuff will come up as we go through uh, somebody else guest 120 says yes back in the 17 and 1800s farm 
farm workers, so probably no money in the winter, then factory workers, mostly hand-to-mouth existence. This generation has more money, but it is no one is wealthy, just comfortable. And again, that is really um, interesting to know. It's almost like the word that comes to mind, if I was summarizing that, it was like feast or famine. And so if there's a, a belief, a judgment, a limitation, the energy that, that travels along that, that line that you're describing, again, you want to clear that for yourself so you don't continue to live it. And also for those who are willing, send the energy, you know, out in their direction as well. So that's exactly cool. Hmm. And I say cool because in my mind, this is this is the kind of feedback I, we were going to get. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't sure um, if that would you know, I wasn't sure if that would be the case. It's like, yes. So that's great because it lets me know that I'm on the right track with, you know, what I was thinking people would remember and come up and identify with. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much for all of the shares. That is wonderful. Um, we're also going to be this. So this just for the for those of you who hear me talk about Huna, if you maybe haven't um, interacted with things I've done before, this is one of the Huna symbols There are 36 six of them. Um, I love Huna. It's one of my favorite modalities just right up there. And so we're going to be doing some um, Huna symbol work. We're going to be doing some chakra clearing and rebalancing um, and doing the, the Huna sessions as part of this as well. And so for those of you who have been on the, the teleseminars or the webinars or been, let's say, because I always do Huna on the photo reading trainings, and oftentimes people on the trainings, I turn the lights off, people got their eyes closed. Or if you're on a teleseminar, you've got no idea what I'm doing anyway. And so when you hear me doing the. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm drawing the symbol on the breath. So with this one. <laughs> so do da 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 da. So you draw the symbol on the breath and then you deliver it on the breath so that's what one of the symbols looks like and so we'll be doing the huna energy clearings as part of this as well because it, it's just so powerful it really is just wonderful and i've had clients you know as far afield as australia where i'll be sat at home if we're doing a breakthrough process and we're in the middle of it you know i've got their their permission to work with them and do stuff remotely and there'll be times i'm thinking of someone on there they're in my mind and i think of them three or four times i'm like you could just send them some huna so i'm sat at home They've got no idea what I'm doing. They'll email me and go, did you do some Huna today? They'll feel it. They're in Australia. I'm in Watford in the UK. So, you know, it's it's so cool. So we're going to be doing some Huna clearings as well um, throughout the program. And with your permission, we'll also, you know, and, and we, you know, I started with people who signed up over the weekend. I started the intention setting and it's really lovely. Somebody actually sent me an email. Uh, she signed up. She says, I made a decision to sign up yesterday signed up before my interview i got the job and i'm gonna it's a better contract more money so she said i think it's working already and that's really lovely and i said actually funny you to say that because i a few days before uh, once i would pre-launched put the program out for pre-launch i then started to set the intention about how the energy is going to roll for people so that's cool we're also going to do some of the access consciousness work the right and wrong good and bad or nine pod pop shorts boys and beyonds for those of you who have come across it and so these are the access consciousness creators that's uh, gary douglas and dr dane here dane is the one wearing the uh, leather jacket with the yellow chair and gary douglas is the original creator and founder and dr dane here is the co-creator so we're going to put some of the access consciousness consciousness in there as well. Um, and we're also going to do the kind of the money oracle card deck readings. So the cards, uh, 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 the cards are not yet in physical form. So these are the, these are the coaching cards. So they're going to look like this. Um, just and so with the coaching cards, they're all, you know, ooh, wrong way, different images on all of the cards. And thank you for the person who kind of uh, talk, we we looked immediately looked and go we need bigger writing so we've got much bigger writing on version two, um, but uh, yeah so those are the cards and so the cards I have them at the moment they're on a deck on my on my PC because I haven't sent them to the printers yet I'm still um, incubating on those but um, we'll do some readings with those to finish off tonight and uh, so if you'd like a reading. I will be doing it slightly differently. I'll pr I will pull it up in terms of the slide deck that I've got on my PC. I've also preloaded the slides into the webinar platform. So I'll just see which one of those is gonna work best. I suspect 
uh, pulling it up in the in the design deck and then what I did when I did the Facebook live a couple of weeks ago I was just close my eyes and just use the page up page down to scroll and then just stopped and picked one so it was like doing the random pick um, you know for that so we'll, we'll do that so that's going to be part of the program as well if people would like readings we'll do that <laughs> somebody says letting them hatch absolutely so that's that. So in terms of the program itself, for those of you who looked at the page, there are four different packages. Um, package number one is the 10 part program. Package number two is the 10 part program plus the 28 day e-coaching program if you haven't done it. Um, and if you have done it and you go for that package, we'll uh, do some one to one coaching around a couple of coaching sessions around that instead. Package number three is the um, 10 part series, the 28 day e-coaching program and the money breakthrough session, which is basically six sessions. So some people have done it as a full one day session. Others have done six one hour sessions. Others have split it into blocks of two or three hours in terms of the coaching. And then the fourth option, because I know some people just like to get stuff done. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a one day video webinar training where I condense down the 10 part series and we do it as a video webinar, as a one day workshop. So um, if you wanted to have a look at those, it's www.bitly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash money vibration. And so you'll get, you can see an overview of the packages there. And also for those of you who are live, if you did want to join us, what I have done is I've set up um 15 uh, off package two and package number three not package number one i think 97 pounds is a very good launch price and actually just to also pre-frame that with the prices you can see on the screen i've purposely left them small because they're going to be changing as so if you're listening to this in a couple of weeks time it will not be the prices you see on the screen but those are the launch prices that are up at the moment so package one is 97 pounds and that's a 10 part um, 10 module series package two at the moment is 247 package three is eight five seven and if you just think i don't want to do the modules i just want to do the whole thing then at the moment the workshop is 87 but as i said i've left them small um, because they're going to be changing but you'll find them on on that particular page if you wanted any more information and also if you did want to get the 15 percent off and i'm going to leave that open for the next kind of 24 or so hours because i know there are a few people who signed up but can't make the live um session um, when you go to the uh, what is your is it says Kyvio on the top when you go to that page the bitly money vibration click on the yellow button it will take you through to the eventbrite page and that's where you use the code let me type the code in so the code is web15 so w e b 1 5 and the way you do it is you click go to the bottom of the screen you click enter promo code type in web15 press activate and then what you'll notice is it changes all the prices that it's applied it to and then you just you know put down number put one if you want to buy one package you can buy one for a friend if you like of course um and then what it will do it will, it will make the um alteration so that's if you wanted to join us for the program um if you've got any questions or queries kind of send me a message or email me couple more exercises just a few things for you to think about um and as i said we're not going to spend a load of time getting into them today but it, you can go back and watch this recording and this one I've called money separation because I've noticed that many people do suffer from this um, is how much is your self worth bound up with what is in your bank account is the first question number two if things aren't going well financially do you deem yourself to be a failure number three if you've answered yes to any of the above, when did you decide that your net worth was equal to your self-worth? And the answer to that question, for those of you doing the 10 part program, is gonna be important because we wanna go back and clear that. So you might have just said, I've always felt that way, or when such and such an event happened, it might have been a significant emotional event, for example. And then thinking, what is your new decision about your identity such that it remains intact regardless of what's in your bank account because when you believe that you are fabulous it's not predicated on oh I was fabulous yesterday when I bit of money and now I've paid those bills I'm not fabulous anymore it's no longer that sort of uh, 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 up and down it's more constant and we come back to my rationale for this program which is about feeling good um and and if and if there are things that have made the two inexpensive inextricably linked you want to know what those things are so you can separate those out 
Um, so uh, just a few more for you to kind of, you know, think about and ponder on. And if you're doing the program, then by all means, be writing this stuff down so that you can kind of share it in the webinars. You can also email me if you wanted to in advance. And then I'm going to build some of the processes around that because some of the things are set. I kind of, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing that. And then some of them a bit more fluid because I want to see what's coming back so that I build the processes around those issues if that makes sense so that's one to think about another is money and receiving so how good are you at receiving compliments how good are you at receiving unexpected gifts so birthdays and christmas most people got that down pat it's your birthday it's christmas thank you very much unexpected gifts however a slightly different kettle of fish how do you respond when somebody gives you an unexpected gift so for example um, the last couple of uh, membership group workshops I've run, people have turned up with flowers, gifts. One of the gifts I've actually got um, from Annika about the magic, it's hanging right there. Uh, this is one of the gifts from the lovely Alexa. It's um, <laughs> unicorn um snow globe i have just some this is a lovely gift from the fabulous sunny olmo this is real gold genuine gold from alaska um oh actually this is another cool one love 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 this it's my unicorn ring holder so you know i want on this one here archangel michael's like remember me so this is one from the lovely kate it's there she has a company called angeli jewelry and she does Archangel pendants. This is Archangel Michael. That was a lovely gift. And so, a lot of the times, I'm receiving unexpected gifts. So, when somebody you walk into a place, you meet someone, they give you a gift. It might even be you're at a networking event or something, and somebody says, Oh my gosh, I've got that book. You have it. Or I've got this. Or they give you a thought, they give you an idea, they give you a contact. Really notice how you react, because that's going to tell you a lot about your receiving channels. Also, how good are you at receiving money or being paid for your services? Is it a joyful exchange? Do you feel guilty about it? Do you feel embarrassed about it? Do you go, oh, oh my baby's not charging enough, I'm charging uh. So if you've got that going on, that will also give you a bit of information about your receiving channels and any work that you want to do there. And I would just say start with that whole thing of asking yourself, are you open to receiving? If so, affirm that to yourself and also practice two very simple words, thank you. If somebody gives you a gift, thank you. If you can't think of anything else to say rather than go, oh no, I shouldn't, oh no, I don't, no. Just practice saying, smiling and saying thank you. And say that until you get comfortable with receiving. Um, and then when you're in that place and that space, you know, it can all go from there. So that's also just kind of one uh, to think about, because if you're many people are really good at giving, not necessarily good at receiving. And that when it goes too much the other way, you can fall into the whole piece around martyrdom. And so you want to watch that one. And again, kind of, you know, let me know kind of what those. Let me just have a quick look in the Q&A. What date is the webinar on? Uh, that hasn't been decided yet. So once I have um, the first batch of people booked on, so the, the launch, we did the pre-launch via the e-newsletter um, last week, last week, last weekend. The launch is now on until the end of this month. And then once people are booked on, I'll be going to the people who are booked on the webinar and they will choose the date. So at the moment, there isn't a date. Um, and the reason I'm going to get them to choose a date, not everybody wants to do things live. So some people just like, I don't care. Like I'm running a Huda workshop, for example. There are people who are going to be coming to the one day event. Other people are going to be doing the one day webinar. And I've had a couple of people doing the webinar. They're not that fussed about being on it live. They'll just get the recording. But for people who want to be on there live, what I'll do uh, once the uh, launch is over is I'll set up an online calendar. I'll put in a series of dates and then people will gen, you know, tick all of the dates they can do. And fingers crossed, it worked with the HUNA, thank God, uh, for both of the HUNA workshops. Um, so I trust it will work again for this one. There'll be a date that shows itself that everybody can do. And that is um, that is when the date will be. So that is that. So I'm just going to go back to the chat. Um, <laughs> missed it can can the options please be put put on the slide 
um, with one of the options, missed it due to the very small print on the phone, uh, managed to watch on the laptop. And I would definitely say, let me put the link in again. Let me copy that link. So to see the options, if it's like squishy on the phone, I'm going to put the link into the chat again. So you'll see them all there. And the reason I didn't make it big print is because I know somebody might be watching this in six months' time ago. It says ninety-seven pounds, and it's now one nine seven. I'll be like, uh, "Well, that's because it was the launch." So um, I'm just saving myself a bit of aggro, and I'm hoping people can't see it too closely, so they then can't come back and complain. Even though I'm clearly saying that's the launch price, it will be different if you're watching it after the launch. But check out the link; it's in the chat. Cool. Right. Oh, okay, what's next before we wrap up? Money meditation. Yes, um, this will be a fun one, to, not now, <laughs> but this will be a fun one to do. Um, you sit in stillness, you allow yourself to physically and mentally relax, and you know, noticing, you know, noticing the in breath, noticing the out breath. You might want to talk yourself through a guided meditation where you're relaxing the forehead and the jaw and the chin and the shoulders and the arms and blah, 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 do a guided process. Uh, we will do it as a proper meditation on the program, which I just don't want to keep you here all night. Um, and then you bring to mind a current issue or challenge with money. And from that meditative place and space, you're asking yourself, what can I do to solve or help resolve this now? And then just sit or lie down wherever you happen to be. And this is where I say notice where you know what you notice. Notice any thoughts. Notice any feelings. Notice physical sensations. Notice anything you hear. Notice any pictures, any visuals, any ideas, any of what I call those light bulb aha moments that come to mind. And it may be that you notice something straight away. Or it may be that over the next couple of hours, next couple of days, even the next couple of weeks or months, things will come up ideas opportunities things will present themselves you'll be like oh my god that's amazing um and so just just be open and notice those things um because what you want to do um is as soon as you then get an idea it's like oh my god yeah that is amazing that's fantastic wow and sometimes you even think where did that idea come from it almost like seems it comes out of the blue but then you might remember that you did a meditation around it and that you are asking for that data, you are asking for that information, and it's and, and that's where it came from. But it's it really is a powerful one. And one of the things I would say is let go of having to have something come straight away because if you're not in already in regular rapport with your inner mind and your higher self, etc., it may be that your mind is kind of asleep. Um, and so, you know, this is one of the one of the cards from my kind of coaching deck is notice what you notice. And this will be my instruction. Don't put pressure on yourself to have to solve it and resolve it and come up with everything now. But just notice what you notice. And when you put yourself into that place in that space, it starts to then open up. And that is where you'll find that you're in that wonderful, beautiful, creative um, space. So that's what I would say kind of with regards to to that one. So, 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 so let me see. Oh, hang on. There's a private message to start a one to one chat. Um, mm -hmm. OK, right. OK, there's no, nothing written in there. That's cool. I'm just checking because the little light was on. And let me just check the chat and just see if there's anything else in there that I need to be aware of. I think we are good. <laughs> uh, Winnie says, always amazing images you use. Why, thank you, Winnie. I do, I do try. <laughs> Glad you like them. And actually, it's got to be, you, seriously, when I created the, um, the coaching deck, um, and you will, might know the story about the day and a half thingy. If not, we'll talk about it. Um, but when I created this deck, it probably took me longer to curate the pictures than it did to write the words. I was like, no, no, no. And you know when you know it when you'll see it and I'm like oh my god that's perfect um a, a few of them were easy like when I when I did the wow card um you know that one was kind of it's, it's easy I've already used it for the magic and gratitude thing um but you know the the images I I spent a fair bit of time so I'm really glad you like them um one day webinar is the same as 10 separate sessions yes it will be um 
it will be and of course there's going to be some leeway in it because it's then going to depend on the people who are there so in the same way the uh, 10 sessions are going to be a little bit more fluid in certain places because it's going to be based on what the group are coming back to me with the webinar will be so it might be there are things in the webinar that are different to the things in the 10 part series because the group is different if that makes sense but the the core things will be the same with room for flexibility in terms of you know who's there etc etc cool so we want to do some money oracle tarot card readings i'm just going to go through the questions that i'd had by email and just make sure i've answered all of those da, da, da. <sighs> So three packages. So I've talked about three packages. Somebody asked about those. Um, <laughs> I did talk about that. The Sky News thing. I didn't get a chance to talk about that. So what I'm going to do, but I did. Um, I went and I pulled up the link that was with the lovely Lisa, who did the because she was desperate for money and by within the first day of doing the first exercise of the magic program um she not only raised thousands of pounds but it was on sky news so that's that so that's that one um Oh yeah, so I was thinking, what's P3? I'm sorry, my own writing. So what is the session? That means package three. Duh. What is the session for package three? How long is it? And do you have to be in the UK? So um, in terms of package three, the breakthrough session is six hours. So uh, some people have done it in, in one day. Some have broken it into six one hour sessions. Some have done two, you know, three two hour sessions, so two, four, six. Some people have two, done two half day sessions, so three hours, have a break, do three hours. And the sessions I do them via telephone or Skype, um, so it's not geographic. What's that one? Da, da, da. Do you have to do both programs 28 day plus this? So I've talked about how it's different in the beginning. No, it's kind of either or. The way I see this, it's a bit like the yin and the yang. They're going to complement each other. And I was saying in the beginning, one of them is very kind of practical and pragmatic. And this one is more spiritual and esoteric. So for me, the two are going to fit like that. But you can also do them as standalone program. So it can be either or. But the reason I put the second package together is if you wanted to do both. Somebody says, the, still confused, the first package is a webinar with 10 parts. Where is the e-coaching program information? The e-coaching program information is on a whole different site because that's a different... Uh, I'll have to, I'll pull up the, uh, let me, what's going to be the quickest way? I'll, I'll pull up the link. If I don't pull it up tonight, I will pull it up and email it to you. But the, um, the e-coaching program is a, a different one. Uh, what is the better way to motivate? No, no, no. Okay. So the e-coaching program is a different program to this one. So every day for 28 days, you receive an, an, an email with a PDF coaching exercise, or if people want to, there's an online portal where all of the exercises are listed. So there are two ways that you can do it, but it's a separate program to this. Um, what I will do, maybe I, I know where I have got the link somewhere, but it, I'll let maybe let that document open in the background because it's a monster of a document where I keep all my links. And so I'll put the link in, but that's a different, um, ooh, it's not, it's not, it's, oh, hold on there. Let me just do this for one second, just to answer that question and put it in and just do that. Money, the money breakthrough program dot eventbrite dot com. That is the one I'm looking for. So, and actually, if you sort of scroll down, there are elements of it, but I've just put the link in. So, the breakthrough is one to one. Yes, you are correct. So, the um, 10 part series, the one that we're talking about now, raising the money vibration, that is mp3s live video, video webinars etc 28 day e-coaching program is you get an email for 28 days or you go to the online web portal where all of the exercises are listed and online if you kind of don't want to do the email thing but the breakthrough session is one-to-one -one. so there's no group there's no one else it's just me you and skype or the phone depending on how you want it to work it um i've done a couple of them using this video webinar platform but you know most people have got skype you know it's easy um, but yeah so those are one-to-one -one. so if you've got any other questions post them in while we're in q a mode let me just make sure um Oh yeah, can I book the coaching, breakthrough coaching sessions on the road? You can, 
And actually, that'd be really nice for me because if the sessions are 150 pounds an hour, so if you wanted to do six, that is mm, it's 900 pounds. Um, so you can do them on their own, but it'll be 900 pounds, or you can do them as a package, um, and including this program and it's a, a completely different price but yes you can do them on their own as 150 pounds an hour um or 728 and you get this and the 10 part program etc <sighs> what am i covering at the huna workshop and can you have a session that's a kind of um that's a whole different ball game um so the huna workshop is a kind of a, a one day kind of workshop mm, i don't know if i've got let me just see if i've got the link there's going to be so many links um, what I might do, I might just do a link compendium at the end. Which document will that be in? Huna. Huna, Huna, Huna. Yeah. But we're gonna we are gonna do some elements of Huna on this workshop. Of course, the one day Huna workshop is all about Huna in terms of the origins, the background, the history, da da da, you know, taking you through some processes, teaching you some processes you can do for yourself. With the program we're talking about here, it's gonna be more experiential as opposed to you know breaking the processes down. But that's that. So that's all of those questions. And just make sure I've ticked them all. We're good. Yeah. I've covered all of those. So if you've got any further questions or queries, drop them into the Q&A. Right. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do both. Maybe, maybe, maybe hmm, go to the record. Move that out of the way. What I'm going to do is what should happen now is seamlessly the card should appear on the screen. Cool. But what I am going to do, I think it's going to be easier for me to um open them up on the on the um design deck because it's way easier to scroll money breakthrough cards that's the one i want so let's give them a moment right so i'm going to be reading four let's see <sighs> so so winnie mm -hmm. so i'm just waiting for that to open uh, so I can I can do a scroll, but then so I've got them up on card. So once I pull the card, you won't be able to see what I've pulled because um, we're all on my screen. Um, but once I've pulled a card, what I'm going to then do, I can show you the card on screen, which I couldn't do when I did the Facebook Live. So if I do that, right. So the first, oh now, what I've got in this deck, however, is some of the holding cards, like how to use the deck and next steps. So hopefully, if I pick those, I just pull again. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm looking at the cards on my screen. So I'm going to close my eyes. Let me just make sure we're moving. Yeah. So I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to use the page up and page down key. So in the when I'm doing the uh, Tarot Tuesday, because every, you know, I do Tarot Tuesday, I do free Tarot readings for everyone in my membership group. And so the way I do the readings for Tarot Tuesday is I have the cards facing away from me and I will pick a card um and then so whoever i'm reading for sees it before i do and then i turn it over i can't do that with the money breakthrough oracle cards yet because i haven't got the physical deck but i have got them on my screen so i'm going to do page up and page down which is shuffling through them um get a sense to stop and then i will see what the card is and then i'll find it on the deck right the finding on the deck will be tricky because there's like um, 82 of them <laughs> But right, so here we go. So page up, page down. So this is for Winnie, first of all. Go with that one. Ah, oh, okay. So money forgiveness. So I'm going to tell you what it says and I'll see if I can quickly find it in the deck. So money forgiveness, it says look back on situations where you made mistakes with money and ask, what did you learn? Question mark. And say to money, I forgive you. Do you forgive me? Cut the old energetic ties and start afresh. So, so let me see if I can quickly find it on the, uh, go back a little bit of multitasking. Oh, actually that might help. What number is this? This is number 30. And that would then give me a sense of roughly where to start looking. Uh, so da, 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 da. Show me the navigator, number 30. And if it's lined up, then see if my master plan will work. Yes. 
we are cooking with gas. So this is the card. So with regards to this, um, Winnie, I will be saying, just have a look. Um, Winnie says, thank you, makes sense. Cool. Um, so I'm going to say, have a look back at situations. You might even want to do a bit of journaling, a bit of automatic writing around it and just write all those situations down. You know me. Um, I do like a bit of cauldron action as well. So you might, when you've written them all down, you might want to do um, some sort of, you know, cauldron thing with them as well. Um, but it's that whole thing where you're starting the process of the dialogue with money. Um, and then once you've kind of said what needs to be said, and we'll go into this more in the kind of program, I've written this one down that we'll come back to this, um, is you then cut the old energetic tie. So in the program, we'll do that with the um, Ho'oponopono, Pono, and we'll do that with the Huna. We'll also be bringing in the Avaiku, which is a Huna guide to do some work around that as well. So for you, so I'm just gonna write down what's said. Because the, the Viking, like they have got a bit of a sender, you're like, yeah, baby. Um, so that's that. So that's Winnie. Um, we're gonna then do uh, guest 130. So let me go back to the deck and move away from this one first of all, just get well away from it, make sure I'm nowhere near it, and then we're gonna start the process again. Get number 17. Are we going up or down? We're going 17 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. I really like this one. So this one is called Money Date Night. And it says, place paper money on the table in front of you as though you and money are out on a date. Hang on, before I start gassing, let me write this down. So Money Date Night, so I can keep track if people are asking. So this is um, for guest 130. So place money um, in front of you on a table as though you and money are out on a date. Imagine being in, in on the most incredible date ever. Look out into the future and see yourself creating everything you desire with money and so much more. So let me pull that one up. Go back to the deck, and we're going to be number thirty. Da, 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 that's right. Sorry, I've got to pull the navigator up. And money date night should be right about now. Right, so this is the this is the card that I'm looking at. So the premise with this one is oh hang on. Oh so the premise with this one, it, it depends where you are. So if you are in the United States of America, you're going to kind of have your dollars. Um, if you're in the United Kingdom, you're going to maybe, I'd say, go for the highest denomination you can. You might have a 50, but, a, you know, you might have a tenner to hand. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this is a $50 million from the Bank of Zimbabwe. So depending on what your currency is. Um, thank you so much. I need Aussie dollars. Brilliant. Um, so, um, so let's do that. Cool. So get your Aussie dollars. So for now, let's just say you had to have some. You had to have some 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 US dollars. You would place uh, the money in front of you. You're sitting at a table, and you just you and money are just you're just having the best day ever. And you are just kind of talking about what you're going to do and you're, you're, you're getting your plans together and you're, you know, getting excited about what you're going to create and the flow you're going to have. And you just to have this wonderful dialogue with you and money and just see where it flows and just see where it takes you. And it, it's seriously when you really allow yourself to get into the exercise. <laughs> Um, and I, I said in the, this is a, a variation on one that's in the um, 28 day e-coaching program. I says to people, you know, go all out, you know, flowers if you want, candles, whatever. But really, you can bring this one to life in the most incredible of ways. And it's amazing what money will come back to you and say. Um, so that's that one. Uh, we also had um, Annika. So let's go back to the deck. I want to get away from this one completely. Okay, so we want a card for Annika. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, actually, this is totally you. Very kind of um, so number three. So this card is money purpose. 
and it says what do you want money for question mark list everything that comes to mind you then pick your top five and you ask what is the purpose in having blank and so what i mean by that is you might have written 10 things let's say one of the purposes in having of money is to change humanity for example so you and if that's in your top five you then say what is the purpose in in, in kind of having money to change humanity and what does it get for you what does it allow you to do so first part is do your list let me just pull this card up what number is that one go back to where we were um let's just pull it up as well so you're going to get you're going to kind of do your list think about your money purpose and don't don't uh, evaluate it while you're doing the list just write the list once the list is done that is when you then pick your top five and then with the top five you will i think it's that one there with the top five you will then go back and say okay what's the purpose in having this thing what's the purpose in having you know in, in helping humanity what's the purpose in and whatever the thing the words are from your list you slot that in um and it says um oh cool guess 130 says they're going to have fun doing that with the date for sure and so this one is really asking you to look beyond the money i guess is the way that I would put it and ask what is the purpose in that what does it get for you what does it allow you to do um, <clears throat> and when it reveals those things to you there are other ways that you can spin and use that information um, to give you more information about your motivations about your drivers sometimes it even uncovers things that could be a little bit of a block and a barrier um, so definitely this is a nice one to do but do it intuitively do the list pick the top five and then start drilling down into the purpose and what does it get for you what does it allow you to do um and and that one can be really quite enlightening once you get into it so we also had guest 709 so guest 709 now let's go back to the deck and <clears throat> get well away from it and start there pretty much at the beginning right make sure we're working Nineteen, apparently. okay so all right we've got some miracle action so this card is called money miracles and this is for um, guest 709. So it says, do you believe in miracles? What defines a miracle for you? Think back to when something miraculous happened. What were your pre preceding thoughts or what came before? And what were your preceding thoughts, actions and emotions and get into that state. So let me show you that card. Uh -huh. So. <laughs> Any minute now, it's towards the end of the, the end of the deck. Just got to wait for them to scroll through, and should be that one. Cool. So money miracles. So with regards to to this one, what I'm saying here is when you kind of think about what defines a miracle for you think back to the time something miraculous happened and then go what was going on just before that you know what were my thoughts what were my feelings what were my actions what was i doing because often times you will you when you identify that state you'll recognize it's very different from your state of <laughs> stressful urgency and then what you want to do when you identify the money miracle state where things just flowed things just happened things were just like oh my god oh my god oh my god what then happens with this one which is really really fantastic is that you'll then go oh my god i'll get myself back into that state and then you're in that place and that space where money miracles can continue to happen so it's a really really fun one to do um, but when you know the state that you're you're in when things are really in flow the more you replicate that the more it starts to become your natural state of being and the more you find yourself in the place and the space which then meets up with whatever your definition of of a miracle is um annika says really nice card thank you for that marilyn much appreciated you are more than welcome and i think there was one more person in the chat that had said they wanted a reading so let me just go there as well let me do that i've just got 
the check, a bit of multitasking. So I think it was in the private, was it somewhere? Or Q and A, sorry, Q and A. So that's Christopher. My brain is like, you are not doing another reading until you have some water. Excuse me a moment. Hmm. Alrighty. Right, Christopher. So actually, I'm going to go take myself to the bottom of the deck. So number 70 and start scrolling from there. A bit up and down action. Oh, oh actually, I can do that. It's a fast scroll. It's like um. I just keep my thing on it rather than page up, page down. I'm gonna go for that. Ooh. Oh, this is just perfect based on what you were saying. Oh my god. Um you were talking about money management, all the rest of it. This is just too cool. Too cool for school. Let me write it down. So I've got um a note just because sometimes people what's my card again? Right, so accumulation it's called. So it says get a lovely gl glass jar or container and use it to save a pound or dollar every week. You might also decide to save a particular denomination of coin, um, perhaps the shiny ones, and keep saving until the jar is full. So let me show you this one. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> Any minute now, that one. Oh, there we go. And from what you were saying about the kind of the money management piece, I think this is absolutely perfect because what this does is it starts. I don't, I don't really like the word control, but it just starts just making it more manageable. And and you, it, it starts off small. You know, it, a dollar or a pound, a yen or a euro doesn't sound like that much. But actually, let me show you. Let me just get something for. You. I've just started it again. Oh, oh god it's oh god it's heavier than i thought <laughs> i this is um this is one of those big you know um it's, it's massive um and I, I don't know if you can see that clearly i save shiny pound coins but basically the denomination i save is 20 pence pieces but also if i get shiny pound coins they go in here as well I can't even give you a comparison. Let me okay. Let me put my water bottle. My water bottle is just basically bigger than the neck of this bottle, so this is massive. When it is full to capacity, it holds about nine hundred and eighty pounds. The very very first time I filled this, I distinctly remember ugh, I was saving up to get a Chanel handbag. And I just got to the point where it was full. I was so excited. I was just like majorly excited. And then um, a relative needed some money. I was like, oh, God. And they asked me. And I was like, I really wanted to say I haven't got any. But I knew. I was like, okay, I've got nine. So they wanted to go on a secretarial course because they worked in a shoe shop. Um, a job had come up that they wanted in the bank. Um, but they didn't have the right qualifications, didn't have A-levels and all that kind of stuff. But they'd seen a secretarial course. Could I help them with the money? So I paid for the secretarial course, which was about 300, 400 pounds. Um, and that left me with not enough for the big Chanel handbag. So I got the little one, which I did a Facebook Live about the other day when Carl Lagerfeld passed away. Um, and so I just, and the, 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 my, my thing for that, this jar is, the reason I was going to get a Chanel handbag is when the jar, when the bottle is full, I'm going to do with that what I please. I'm going to buy something that I've really wanted. I'm going to buy something that other people might say, oh, that's frivolous. Why would you spend 900 pounds on a handbag? Well, actually, I didn't have to get a little one. Um, but, you know, and that the person who I bought the course for, I think there was something like something ridiculous, like 45 other applicants. She got the job. So she worked in what was in Abbey National, it's now Santander, and from there, and now she's um, a, a kind of a retail manager and, and travels the country troubleshooting their stores for Ralph Lauren. And so what started as, I'm going to help you with this little secretary, oh, I've got goosebumps, what started with giving her £400 or whatever it was to do the secretarial course opened up doors that neither of us would have thought were possible, and now she's a high flyer. And very much sought after. Prior to that, she was the manager at New Look in Oxford Street and used to, again, travel around the country uh, pulling their stores into shape because she's got an eye for detail, an amazing eye for fashion. And all she needed was that little um, 
kind of you know let head head start uh, to get things moving so i distinctly remember the first time i filled the bottle that's where the money went um i was a little bit disappointed at the time i was like oh, what is it because it took about a year to fill that blasted thing first time round um but th this this is really about that but the more it accumulates and my rule for myself was when i first started doing it the money can go in but nothing is allowed to come out until it's full so if you can invoke that as well i think that would be a really good idea and then and don't keep watching it every five minutes you know when they talk about a watch pot just put the money in 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 um i don't put notes in there because you wouldn't be able to get them back out again but if you were using like a jar a bigger jar with a, a top then by all means you could put notes in there as well but it's amazing how those coins can amount to 980 pounds and of course if i put all pound coins in there there'll be a way a lot more but it was a mix of 20 pence pieces and pounds so that's what i mean um by that one and it will be really good for you to be whatever you said about your brother or something being the steward and not being good with money i think this card would be absolutely perfect um for helping that you know helping change the dynamics around that um let's see guest 709 says a uh, very cool thank you you are more than welcome um i don't have a glass jar container that is big enough but it's start with anything i've got a little one hang on let me just see if it's in here in the other room i think it's in here oh yeah oh. i found this one recently and what it is um it's um i don't think i'm able to see it can i make it light up I'm not sure I can make it light up any more than it is, but it's it's, it's not very big, but it's um got a hang on, wrong way. Oh yes, you can see it. It's got a display. So every time you put a coin into it, it adds up what's in there. So that doesn't look like very much. I've only just started. Hang on, wrong way. I've only just started, but it's thirteen pounds and seventeen pence, and it does. You know the the I think yeah the lid does screw off, so you don't have to start massive but just start just start i think that's the key thing just start and then what happens is and this will be a whole different exercise but what happens is that whole thing of saying i haven't got any money oh my god and uh you can't say that anymore because that that is money even though it's not a massive amount of money it's still money and it starts to then just kind of impact you know on your psyche if you want to put it that way so you know really really kind of play with that one play with that idea um of, of kind of how it how it rolls out mm -hmm. so that just gives you a little flavor and we'll kind of get more into it um as we as we go through and we'll have a whole one of the the kind of modules will be around doing the readings and so if you're joining us for the program we'll kind of do the readings from that um as well we're going to a little bit more depth and a little bit more detail we'll design some processes around those as well so those will feed into the rest of the program um so that will be um that will be the way that kind of it goes and what I'll probably do with these cards, what I can do is easiest thing for me to do so you can then pull them off and save them where you want to is I'll put them on my transformations page and I'll say I'll put them on the transformations page because it moves a lot more slowly than my own page. I will put them on the Marilyn Devonish page as well. Actually, let me just see if you don't know what that page is. Let me just see if I've got it as a link. Um, <sighs> Uh, uh, uh. oh yes i have so i will put the link I'll put the link into the chat and um, so i'll put them on that page not today it's late now oh my god it's 11 30 people we've got to close um, so i'll put them on i'll put them on the um on my transformation page tomorrow um and so you can pull them off from there you can save them from there i just wanted to give you a little bit of a taster and a flavor um of how they all work uh, guest 130 says they're beautiful thank you so much i'm glad you like them and um, how do i add my name i know it's you now because you mentioned oz i think it's when you logged in i think if you registered anonymous i think it picks up the name that maybe you put in when you log in i don't know if you get an opportunity to type the name in um kind of when you actually get into the webinar but it might be pulling it from how you initially logged into the um how you initially logged into the webinar i think 
might be wrong, but that's what it could be. So, 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 so. Right. Well, in terms of, um, you know, this evening, let me just let me just do, 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 do that. Um, so if there is if there are any further questions or queries, by all means, kind of let me let me know if you have any final questions. And if not, let us bring tonight to a close. If you have any final questions, if you have any final queries, drop them in to the chat um, or into the kind of Q and A, and I will do a final cycle back and look at those. Um, for those of you who would like to join us for the program at the moment, um, and I say at the moment, if you're watching this in real time, these are the prices. They're going to be available to the end of this month. And then after that, if you're watching this as a replay in a year's time, the program will still be valid and you can take the modules. But these prices will not be what what is on the screen. But if you wanted to, um, the promo code is WEB15. So package two is 247. It will be 209. Package three is 857. That's the one that includes the 28-day uh, e-coaching program the 10 part, new 10 part Raise Your Money Vibration program and the uh, one day one to one of one to one sessions. So six uh, breakthrough sessions. That's 857. It's 728 if you wanted to use the code. And just to do the uh, 10 part series is 97 pounds. And to book your place, go to www.bit.ly forward slash money vibration. Use that page if the codes have expired. If you are booking while you're on this live teleseminar or within the next 24 hours so that people get a chance to watch the replay uh, then when you get to that page the Kyvio page you'll see what I mean it'll say Kyvio in the in the URL um, click on that yellow button and it will take you to the Eventbrite page because that is where you can actually um, use the promo code. You can't use it on the um, the Kyvio page. So hope that is clear. If it's, and I'll, I'll send an email tomorrow um, reiterating all of this as well. So that's that. And the final thing, a little bit of home play, just for those of you who are joining me for the 10 part series, start looking at your money beliefs, write down the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent, create two columns, positive and negative, and then you're gonna take the top three words and reshape those into belief sentences. I'm gonna explain all of this in more detail uh, when we do the program, but this one is a really good start. If you don't know what your money beliefs are, and if you don't know about potentially of the limiting money beliefs and the ones that are most key and the most prevalent, this exercise is a really, really good one to do. So you might wanna just come back to this recording and do this one as a bit of home play before we start um, the program. So you've got two, three weeks to, you know, get your head around this before we do the first module. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for joining me. I really appreciate it. And we've got people of far afield as Australia, America, Europe, and the UK. So it's wonderful to have a global group fabulous also one of the questions that did pop in as a sidebar earlier on was asking about timings of the live events i think i'm going to try and vary those a bit because i want to be fair to australia i want to be fair to america i want to be fair to europe as well so i might mix up the days a little bit so we might do a couple of ev late evening sessions we might do a, a kind of weekend sessions and i want to just mix it up so that everybody gets a chance to be in a more friendly time zone so we'll talk about that one um, as we go and in terms of you know keeping in touch most of my stuff on social media is forward slash Marilyn Devonish apart from Instagram which is the neuro success coach um, so you know feel free to go to my various pages click like it really helps to move things up the um, up the agenda and news fees if you drop some comments in as well also feel free to share your feedback if you've enjoyed the webinar even if you're not joining us for the program um, but you know somebody who might and other people who might benefit from this then feel free to share a few words share some feedback that would really help as well um, that would be wonderful uh, let's just see I'm just going to have a quick look and see with the final things um, I'll try next time I'll, I've been trying all sorts of things no worries uh, that's fine I know who you are um, <laughs> and thank you thank you thank you sleep well see you soon I really look forward to working with you always a pleasure um, somebody else guest 709 says fabulous time Marilyn thank you that's brilliant Sabina says unfortunately I've caught the last five minutes will there be a replay yes it's being recorded 
Uh, Winnie says, thank you as always for being so generous with your time and energy. Winnie, it's always a pleasure. And my God, if you have seen me talking about Winnie's miraculous vibrational bath salts, please people order them. They are just the most incredible thing. Um, if you think you've kind of got something good with Epsom salts and Dead Sea salts, forget that. Winnie's bath salts are just freaking amazing. Um, I cannot I cannot put into words how good they are. You can use them as bath salts. Let me just see if I've got them here, actually. You can use them as bath salts or, oh, here we go, uh, winsworldtherapies.com forward slash energy vibrational bathing salts. Please, people, check this out they are like heaven oh my god can't begin to tell you so that's the wonderful winnie thank you winnie um wonderful um to have you here uh will there be a recording as i didn't join too late coral yes there will be um do you have to have done the 28 day program recently it's some time ago i mean to do the webinar no this is a completely new program i'm going to be using some of the exercises that are in it so the exercises we've done today have been pulled from the 28 day e-coaching program so we're going to use some of those things as our basis and starting point and then we move off in a different direction but you don't have to have done that before uh, it can be an either or but I'm also, you know, putting it together in a way such that they complement each other. Uh, looking forward to it. Brilliant. Clock change soon. So they'll be slightly easier. They do indeed. Um, Coral says, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marilyn. You are more than welcome. So whew, that was quite epic. Um, but hopefully it gives you a flavor of where we're heading, what we're doing, um, how it's all going to be working. So, yeah, let me have your feedback as well in terms of this. And also for those of you who are joining us, start thinking about what you most want to work on, what you want to clear. Some of it's obvious, that's fine. And the rest of it, we're going to be working on as we go through this program. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Uh, really wonderful to have a nice global group. That is just awesome. And I look forward to working with you all once we get started in a few weeks time. So the way it's going to roll once the launch is over, I'm going to give that kind of two weeks to roll. Um, and then once that's over, I will then start, you know, looking at dates for the first session. And some of those, I'm just going to put them in. So you, you, you kind of go, we're doing that, we're doing that, we're doing that. And maybe I'll do a little bit like the way I do the photo reading mastermind group sessions is we roll those sessions. So we do a session and then we go, right, you know, when are we doing the, the next but one session? So it could be that the program rolls a little bit in that way. And we decide as a group what we want to do. Um, but, you know, we'll get it started. Guest 120 he says, thank you, Linda, you are more than welcome. So thank you for joining me. Um, and yeah, I very much look forward to working with you for the Money Vibration Programme. And if again, if you'd like to join us, go to www.bit.ly bit forward slash money vibration um, and come on board. And as somebody pointed out, you know, she's like, it's £9.70 a session. Well, it was £7.70 when she joined. But really, £9.70 a session, I'm pretty sure most people drop more than that on tea and coffee you know, on most days of the week. So um, if you look at it in those terms, if you just want to come and do the the 10 part series with us, um, I would say I really do think that's a generous price. And the reason I'm doing the dis early booking discount is because you can start saving a bit of money straight away. And my suggestion for that is, if you're making that saving, maybe start by putting, if not all of it, some of the money that you save in terms of the 15% off, start putting it into your jar do something with it you know to kind of signify um what you how you want to be kind of working with money so thank you for joining me and you know if you need any further information i'll just say it for the purposes of the recording the email is marilyn at transformations tm.com it's there on the screen marilyn is m-a-r-i-l-y-n at trance t-r-a-n-c-e as in hypnotic trance, F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S, T-M as in trademark. So Marilyn at transformationstm.com. The website is transformationstm.com um, and forward slash Marilyn Devonish, D-E-V for Victor, O-N-I-S-H. If you want to follow me on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Christopher says, thank you. It's a joy to be in this class. Well, Christopher, thank you so much for joining um, joining us. And seriously, I'm not kidding. People, I mean, even when I have guest speakers in, they always say, oh my God, your workshops are amazing. Oh my God, the people in your groups are amazing. And they really totally are. So I know I've already, I've had goosebumps about this one beyond 
this is going to be freaking awesome um and even just looking at the people who are joining us so far it's just going to be even more joy even more amazing and it kind of starts really from the moment you sign up so exciting times catch you all later thank you very much for joining me and i'll talk to you all very soon bye bye